Hello my friends and welcome to the channel and in this video I'm gonna show you how to quick and easy resize your picture size. For example you have to upload a few files and they limit you to like 5 megabyte of total amount of files. In this case you gotta be limited to what you can upload and a lot of cases if you're creating a PDF file where there is text and it's gonna be hard to read you wanna make sure that the quality of that text is not gonna be altered in any way so you can it's still gonna be readable but the file size is gonna be smaller. So in this video I'm gonna show you how to do this this is gonna be real simple real easy and it's gonna be free so if you want to check it out stay tuned for the video and if you're new to the channel take a second to subscribe and if you like this video smash that like button also click the notification bell so you don't miss new videos all right without further ado let's go get started so as you can see here I have some pictures here and these files are enormous they're like 5 megabyte 15 megabyte 8 megabyte 5 megabyte so they're huge and for example, if I want to upload a few of these pictures, I need a really steady internet connection. But on another hand, some places, some websites, they limit you for the storage size. If you want to upload it, they limit you like to say like 2 megabyte or 5 megabyte, which is going to be really hard to make looking at the size of these files. But no worries, we're going to make it work right now. So the way that I found is actually the free program called Infun View, And I got it right here on the bottom. When you click on it, it's got this little red bear and this program is free I've been using this program for years maybe like 15 years I actually did a review about this program about its main features what I like about it so if you want to check it as well it's gonna be in the upper right corner check it out I'm gonna put the link in the description but this program is my primary default program for viewing pictures if I close this right now and I open this picture you can see it opens up automatically in this program. So if you go to the properties of this file, you can see that resolution is 16 megapixel and the file itself is almost 16 megabyte as well because it's got a lot of depth in it. It's got a lot of color. It's an HDR photo. So how are you gonna resize it? We're just gonna go to the file menu, then go to save as and right here it automatically suggests you to save in the same folder but you can choose a different folder if you like and let's go ahead and just rename it let's say add resize to this one and the beauty of this program it gives you a few options to resize the file you can go ahead and use this slider to make it a from good to low quality but I don't like using this because it doesn't really tell you what file size you're gonna end up with. For example, if you have a place or a website that you need to upload a picture or a document and it's gotta be a certain size, let's say not more than two megabyte, right? And you have the picture that's 15 megabyte. So in this case, if you wanna resize it to exact same size, there is an outstanding feature in this program, which allows you to set the file size. And for this, you just gotta click this box right here. And here you can put the size in kilobytes. For example, I'm gonna put 2000 kilobyte, which equals to two megabyte roughly. So there you go, you just set this size, whatever you like. Just keep in mind, if you set the size too low and the original picture size is really big, like for example, this one, it will decrease the quality of the picture. So once you set this, file size right here just click save so let's go ahead and close this right now and as you can see here I got two files one is original as 15.6 megabyte and this one's a resize of 1.95 megabyte let's see if there is any difference in picture quality okay I'm gonna open this one first as you can see here this is our resize one right here on the top and right now I'm gonna show you the original one then this is the original one it's really hard to tell what has changed because 2 megabyte file size is enough to display the good rich colors and beautiful picture. Maybe if you go in detail and zoom it up really good and there's a little bit less color depth and there's not as many colors. So this what might be the difference, but in this case, I can't really tell what's the difference on my display. I don't know if you can tell the difference. Please let me know in the comment section below. If you have a better display than I do, maybe it's visible, but this is how it looks resized. This is how it looks non-resized. I don't see any difference, honestly, and the file size is eight times smaller. We can go even smaller. We can go to one megabyte and maybe then we will notice the color difference. So let's go ahead and do this. We're gonna open up the one megabyte file here. And now I can tell the difference. Yes, it did decrease the colors. And as you can see here, the clouds become like a little bit of pink color up there. So it definitely decreased the color depth. So it doesn't show you as perfect image as it would be 
in real life. So right now we're looking at the two megabyte. Here we look at the 16 megabyte. So like between 16 and two, I don't see the difference, but yes, between one and two, you can see that the sky turned out to be a little bit less colorful. And I'm sure if we go even more down, it's gonna decrease the color depths even more. You know how it used to look on those old cell phones where you have 256 colors or 16 colors, just like it's just gonna be looking absolutely ridiculous. But what if you do need to decrease it below one megabyte and you still wanna have a pretty good color depth? Well, for this case, what we can do, we can resize this image first, make it smaller. What I mean is we're gonna decrease the megapixel size. For this one is a 16 megapixel and it just takes too much room. So if you want to know how to change the image size, you can check out my next video. I'm going to put a link in the upper right corner and in the description as well, or you can check it in the playlist on my channel. And if you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. If you have any other ideas how to resize the image, I will be really curious to know because if you can find even an easier way than this, that'd be awesome and I would like to know this. Let me know in the comment section below. So this is it for now. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you have a nice day and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.